Today we're taking a look at the Florida State vs. Michigan match, which is happening on Sunday March 28, 2021 at 5 p.m., and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. Tease a sweet 16 matchup of the East Region and the NCAA Tournament in the Hoosier State. The fourth-seeded number 14 Florida State Seminoles battle the top-seeded number 4 Michigan Wolverines Sunday afternoon with the winner advancing to the Elite Eight. Florida State advanced to the Sweet 16 by downing fifth-seeded Colorado 71-53 Monday night in their second-round matchup. Michigan punched their ticket to the Sweet 16 as they dropped 8th-seeded LSU 86-78 Monday in their last game. The top-seeded Michigan Wolverines and the fourth-seeded Florida State Seminoles will take the floor to decide which will advance to the Elite Eight Sunday afternoon at Bankers Life Fieldhouse in Indy. Currently, the Wolverines are favored by a slim 2.5 points down from three at the opening. The Seminoles dominated the Colorado Buffaloes in their second round contest as they expanded only a two-point halftime lead to outscore their opponent by a margin of 47-33 in the second on route to their 18th win of the season. And despite the offense shooting 52% for the contest to post just 71 points, it was the defense that has been stellar in the postseason giving up just an average of 58 points per including 53 to the Buffaloes on 36% shooting, 24% from deep. The Seminoles covered for the first time in five games versus Colorado as one-point favorites. The Wolverines were in a battle versus the LSU Tigers in the round of 32, however, were able to pull away in the second half on route to an eight-point win behind a strong defensive effort that gave up under 40% shooting while surrendering just six trays on 21 attempts. On the other hand, the offense was on fire making 54% from the floor along with 10 three-pointers with Eli Brooks along with reserve Condi Brown accounting for eight long balls while posting 21 points each. Center Hunter Dickinson posted a double-double with 12 points and 11 boards on 4-7 to seven shooting. Michigan was able to cover as four-point favorites and are 2-2 two two ATS in the postseason. The most recent meeting between these teams occurred three years ago with the Wolverines picking up a four-point win at home in a low-scoring affair. On the other hand, the Seminoles failed to cover for the third straight game versus Michigan as the contest ended in a push. Florida State took care of business against fifth-seeded Colorado, using a big second half to knock off the Buffaloes to advance to the Sweet 16. The Seminoles improved their record to 18-6 overall and finished 11-4 in the ACC during the regular season. Against Colorado, Florida State led by four after the first half and held a one-point advantage with 11:36 to play before going on a game-breaking run. The Seminoles used a 19-6 run over the next five and a half minutes to go up 55-41 with 6:03 to play and were challenged from there. Florida State shot 52.2% from the field, including 6 of 17 from three-point range, and forced 19 Colorado turnovers while holding the Buffaloes to 35.7% shooting. Anthony Polite led the Seminoles with 22 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, and 4 steals in the win. The Seminoles come into this contest averaging 78 points per game on the season, putting them 40th in the nation in scoring offense. Florida State pulls down 37 rebounds per game while handing out 14.7 assists per contest. The Seminoles are 134th in scoring defense as they allow 68.9 points per game on the year. MJ Walker leads four Florida State players in double figures with 12.3 points per contest. Raekwon Gray, Cotty Barnes and Anthony Polite each are averaging in double figures. Balsako Brivica, Molly Gosborne, Sardar Calhoun, Raekwon Evans, Wyatt Wilkes and Nathaniel Jack are all good rotation pieces for coach Leonard Hamilton. Florida State shoots 47.8% from the field as a team on the year. The Seminoles drain 7.83 point field goals a night while shooting 38.2% from beyond the arc. Florida State can 73.9% of their chances at the free throw line on the year. 
One of the strengths of this Seminoles team is it features a number of players who have the ability to lead the team in scoring. In the first round against UNC Greensboro, it was Raekwon Gray doing just that with 17 points. Against Colorado in the round of 32, Anthony Polite, who had never recorded more than 15 points in any game at Florida State, finished with a career-high 22 points, to go along with 5 rebounds and 4 assists. On the season, MJ Walker leads the team at 12.3 points per game. E. Gray, Polite and Scotty Barnes all average double figures for FSU. But Leonard Hamilton's team also gets it done on the other end of the court. The Seminoles are 15th in the nation by holding opponents to 39.3% shooting overall and only 32.6% on three-pointers. UNC Greensboro and Colorado combined to go 13 for 52 from long range. Michigan enters this game 11th in three-point percentage and 18th in overall field goal percentage, so FSU will need to maintain its defensive performance to increase its chances of knocking off the top seed. The Michigan Wolverines are one of the top four seeds in this tournament, and they have not disappointed so far. Michigan ripped Texas Southern in their first game by 16 points and then outscored the high-scoring LSU Tigers 86-78 in the round of 32. Michigan has been known for their tough defense this year but the offense has been outstanding in the tournament, averaging 84 ppg in the two games. They will be facing a tougher defense in this one so we will see if the offense can continue its stellar play of late. In the win over LSU, Michigan shot 54% from the field overall and they were 10-25 from long range. If Michigan continued to shoot that well, they will find themselves in the Final Four for sure, but as I pointed out in the FSU part, the Knolls have a very underrated defense. Leading their attack were Eli Brooks and Condi Brown, who each had 21 points. Michigan also has a balanced defense as six players average from 7.8 ppg to 14.3 ppg. Hunter Dickinson is their top player as he averages 14.3 ppg while also hauling in 7.7 .7 boards per game. The Wolverines have been a very good offensive team this year and they enter this game ranked 51st in the nation in scoring at 76.8 ppg, while also ranking 19th in shooting overall, 13th in 3-point shooting, and 17th in free throw shooting. The Wolverines are a great shooting team from anywhere on the court. The defense has been strong as they come in ranked 57th in the nation in points allowed at 65.9 ppg, while also ranking 13th in defensive FG% percent and 118th in 3-point defense. LSU shot just 39% from the field overall, including 29% from long range, but it will not be that easy against a great Florida State shooting team. The Wolverines are the top seed but haven't been the same team since Isaiah Libers was sidelined by a stress fracture in his right foot. Second on the team in scoring and third in rebounding, Libers' presence down low has been missed and could really show up against a deep and athletic Florida State team that has plenty of size. Michigan is one of the nation's best shooting teams period, ranking in the top 20 nationally in field goal, three-point, and free throw shooting. The key player for the Wolverines is Hunter Dickinson, the seven-foot-one freshman who leads the team in scoring and rebounding. Florida State has a pair of seven-footers to counter Dickinson, but Tenorum Gom plays limited minutes and Balsico Privica has struggled with foul trouble the first two games of the NCAA tournament. Dickinson also needs to make sure he does what is necessary so he can stay on the floor or head coach Jawan Howard will be forced to go with a smaller, guard-oriented lineup. So here are my betting suggestions for that game. His game is going to come down to which of the unsung heroes will step up. Michigan's Eli Brooks is my guess as he's coming off of a season-high 21 points in the round of 32 victory over LSU. He also is 8 for 15 from beyond the arc in the NCAA tournament. As much as their defense has made up for a lack of consistent defense in the postseason, I expect Michigan to push the pace throughout this contest to put the Seminole defense on its heels. Of course, Florida State will attempt to slow down the pace and play a half-court style of game. However, the Wolverines really shine in transition as they possess a number of scorers that can spot up on the perimeter. 
Brooks, along with big man Hunter Dickinson, could pose several issues for a Florida State team that has problems taking care of the basketball at times. The Seminoles will keep it closed throughout, but Michigan's offensive efficiency should prove to be the difference. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Michigan minus two. Florida State is 1-3-1 against the spread in their last five games played on a neutral site. Michigan is 17-7 against the spread in their last 24 games overall. The over is 12-5-1 in Florida State's last 18 games overall. The under is 12-5 in Michigan's last 17 games overall. The Michigan Wolverines are one of the four number one seeds, but you cannot overlook this Florida State squad. Their defense has been lights out in the NCAA tournament and Ken Palm does have their defense ranked 31st in the nation in defensive efficiency. Michigan has an offense that has been on fire of late, but Florida State will do enough to slow them down here. Michigan has a strong defense, but it did allow 78 points to LSU, and FSU's offense is one of the better in the nation. My second betting advice for that game is to pick under 140. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.